This is Mrs. Laverty, the librarian at Townsend Harris High School, here to show you how to use the library catalog Destiny to find materials in the library. You can access the online catalog from anywhere there is an internet connection. Um, all you have to do is log on to your computer and go to the Townsend Harris website. After you get to the Townsend Harris website, go under Academics to the Libraries page. When you have an opportunity, explore the different sections of the Libraries page on the left-hand side. But today I'm going to show you the Library Catalog. When you click on the Library Catalog, it should open in a new tab or window straight into the Townsend Harris High School catalog and you will know this by looking in the upper hand left hand corner and see Townsend Harris High School. Here you will um, know that you are searching the books that Townsend Harris owns. On our home page there is a calendar of events listed and you can see what's going on in the library as well as two links. Um, there's both links to Google Forms where you can suggest an improvement or titles that you would like the library to purchase or if you would like to submit a book review, you can click over here. But right now what I want to show you is our catalog. You click on the catalog tab and you see this screen. It is a basic search, um, kind of like a Google search, but a Google search for the resources that are in the library. Um, I am a huge fan of fairy tales, so I want to search what kinds of fairy tales are located in the library. So I'm just going to do a basic keyword search. I type in fairy tales, I click keyword, and you will see that in Townsend Harris High School Library right now, there are 51 different titles that come up with a keyword search of fairy tales. Now, if you notice, I did not have to log in in order to search the catalog. Anybody who ha has access to the internet can search our catalog. You all have specific usernames for the catalog and I'm going to show you why that can be helpful for you later. But right now we have 51 different titles to explore. One of the great features about the catalog is um, some of these books have pictures available so that you can see exactly what their, uh, the covers look like. Maybe you're looking for a specific edition of a book. Um, so on the left hand side is a name. The little red icon here tells you that it's a physical book in the library. And on the right hand side it tells you whether or not the book is available. Right, as I look through the list of books, I would like to look at Tales of Old Japan. When I click on it, it tells me a very, very brief sentence about the book. It's a collection of classic Japanese folklore and fairy tales. It tells me that locally there is one copy available in the library, and it also tells me the call number. The call number is the address of the book in the library. It is exactly on the shelves where you can find this book. There's some additional information as well. And if I click on the review tab, I see that no one has reviewed the book in the New York City system. And it also tells me that besides Townsend Harris, these two schools in New York City also have this book. Now that is pretty much the extent of what you can do with um, looking for books if you are not logged in. But if you choose to log in, you have to see uh, Miss Laverty, me, in the library for your username. If you log in, and I'm going to use a student login, and I'm not saving my password, and you can see that I am now logged in as student Townsend Harris. Same home page shows up, the calendar. The same tab for catalog shows up. And then there's a tab that says My Info. The My Info lets you see 
bought books you have checked out, and Townsend Harris has one book checked out, and it's due December 4th. Very luckily, Townsend Harris doesn't owe any money to the library. He has not put any holds, and um, he has not recommended any, nobody has recommended any books to them. I want a specific book. So somebody told me about this really great book called Cinder, and that's the title of the book. So I'm doing a title search, and I click title, and I see that here is the book. But unfortunately, there are zero of one available. That means the library owns one copy of this book, but it is not available. So I want to click on it, and this is the benefit of being logged in. So after I've clicked on it, it tells me that the estimated wait for this book is 10 to 11 days. That means somebody checked it out and it's due in 10 days or so. I want to make sure that um, I get the book next. So I can always go to the librarian and say, you know, when Cinder comes in, could you please hold it for me? And for those of you who have talked to me know my memory is not the best in the world. And I might say yes, but I can almost guarantee that I'm going to forget um, probably within 20 minutes of your request. And if I write it down on a little piece of paper, I will probably lose that somewhere uh, in the mess that's my desk. So your best bet is to log in, look up the book, click on the name of the book, and then go here to this little button called hold it. Now if you click hold it, you just sent me an electronic message saying that you want this book when it comes in. The best part about this is me, I do not have to remember that you put in the hold request. The computer will remember for me. So that means whoever has the book, when they return it and I check it in, the computer will send a little notice to me saying hold this book for Townsend Harris and I will put it on the side and I will email you to let you know that your book is available to be picked up in the library. And we hold books um, in a hold for three days you have to come in. It's great for when you have assignments that you need to read and you want to make sure you get the book um, in order to complete your assignments as well. Now another great thing about being logged in is you can re recommend books to your friends through the system. And if you really you read this book and you really loved it, you can click recommend. You find the person that you know, and I will look for myself. And I will click on me, and I will write, you should read this. It has a lot of action. So the next time Arlene Laverty logs into Destiny Catalog, she will get this message saying that she has a recommendation. Now, the only thing with recommendations um, and book reviews, because you can review books here as well, they have to be approved. So I'm sure that no one will um, write inappropriate messages to each other on the system. Using uh, Destiny logged into your account is creating resource lists so that you can create a read list of books that we have at Towns Books like World War II. For an assignment you have in U.S. History, um, you can save to a reading list. I want to add the following books to my resource list, my personal list. And then when I go to my resource list, the books are listed so that I know that these are the books that I want to read. You can send this um, in an email to someone of your friends or you can save it as text. Please remember that the library has a lot of information available to you, not only through the catalog, but in a variety of sources. So please feel free to come into the library and ask the library.